everyone, it's McMage here, and welcome back to this bed we made. In the last video, we started the game with Andrew and did some stuff. I'm sure I'll find more laundry to add to the book. Another day, okay. another Did some stuff. We crafted these keys, as you can see up here, to open the locked chest in here. And figure out what's going on with Marcella and Mrs. Um, what's her face? Mrs. Beaumont. That's her name. Once again, this is strictly a Andrew run, so a lot of the Careful, stuff. Sophie. You don't want this key to break. So a lot of the stuff that we see right now, I have already seen before. I've already posted videos of it, so if you're interested in actual gameplay, please go check that out. But for now, we are going to do strictly Andrew interactions and different stuff that we haven't seen before. So yeah. Okay. I was trying to call him from the wrong phone. <laughs> Hello? Andrew? Andrew speaking. Hey, Andrew. Got a minute? I always have time for you. Uh, oh, Open the chest cute. Five oh seven. Huh? Oh, I I also closed the chest yeah, in five oh seven. Sorry. Our little key is sturdier than it looks. Yeah. So, what's in the chest? A riddle. Ain't that the question? I think it was written by Mrs. Beaumont for Mrs. Cruz, and I think the answer will give me the combination for a case I found in room five oh nine. I could use your help with it though. That's awesome. I love riddles. Nerd. Me, which part's causing you trouble? The first part. The unlike my favorite bar mm. one. Unlike my favorite bar, this one. I'm pretty was sure it's black. Kat, but she you know wants to. She wants to do stuff with him, this so. Really isn't my area of expertise. You just hey, ben, said you love you know riddles, bars, right? Well, not all of them. What about one that has a color in its name, like? The orange chair, or the blue lagoon, or something. Well, there's the white cat, but I don't think that's your crowd. Oh, it's not for me, but thanks. Did you get that, Sophie? I yeah, did. I did. Thank you. Um, let's keep but asking I'm not sure questions. I, what it means. I know, I know wow. what it is, but if her favorite you know. bar is indeed the white cat, then it means we're looking for a, a black, black cat. cat. Exactly. So, maybe you should look around to see if there's some reference to a black cat in Mrs. Beaumont's stuff. Okay. Great thinking. Is there anything else? Uh, the name. Here's another one. Her alliterative name will surely take you back. I don't know why I'm doing this interaction. I know these answers. <laughs> I just want to see what he says. Yeah. I'm not sure what alliterative means. Alliterative well, means that it starts with the, start with the same sound letter. Words, like perpetual. I think I know what I'm to gonna, do. I'm gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna stop, <laughs> we're gonna stop here. Nope, that's not Beth speaking, that's Andrew that's, speaking. That's all. Thank you. My pleasure. I'm just glad I could finally put my riddle solving skills to good use. Me too, me bud. Open that case. You know I will. Okay. Thanks for nothing, Andrew. You were the bomb daddy. Like... So this was all a story about star-crossed lovers, with the yep. lovers in question being Yes, sir. Seems like it, yeah. But I'm not sure whether they chose to meet here just to reconnect for a few days, or if there's something more to it. Actually, I think I can help with that. Oh? Really? How? How? Well, some mail just arrived here for Mrs. Beaumont. I wonder what's inside. Hmm. I wonder what's in it. Me too. Should we open it? Well, that's illegal. I mean, sometimes illegal schmeagle. You know? Oh my! Oh my God! Ripping it right <laughs> open, Jesus! So, it's a tourism pamphlet for California and three train tickets. Wow! What do you think this means? I'd say Anne and Marcella are probably planning to run away from their husbands. 
Those train tickets must be for them and Michael. So you're on a first name basis now, huh? Well, I mean, I'm this invested, after so. So much of their correspondence, I kind of feel like I know them, you know? Yeah, like characters in a book. I have to say, though, I'm still a bit confused as to how Paul fits into all of this. Ain't that the question? Oh, uh, she hired him. I think Marcella what? hired him. I found some letters Paul wrote to her. He said that her proposition took him by surprise and that he'd need an advance on his salary. What would she hire him for, though? I'm not sure. That's a great question. I didn't find the letter he was replying to. And why did he have those pictures of you? We'll probably never know. I think the trail ends oh. here. <laughs> Don't worry, Sophie. We'll I know. Guess we'll know. Investigations in real life always have some loose ends. I was kind of hoping we'd have this big third act reveal, to be honest. At least it made our day pretty interesting. That's for sure. <laughs> it helped me understand you better, too. Oh? Why you snoop, I mean. Uh, piecing okay. together people's stories, learning what makes them tick. It makes you realize we may have more in common than it seems. And... <laughs> what about your story, Andrew? You're right. Which is why the next story I'd like to learn is yours, Andrew. Oh? oh? Am I going to find you <laughs> snooping through my apartment next? No. <laughs> I would love to share my story with you, Sophie. You're the first person in a long time who's made me feel like I can. Would you come and see me when your shift ends? Oh? Oh. We could leave together, if you'd like. Sure. Uh, yes, please. If we're able to. With all that snow, I'm thinking maybe we'll have no choice but to spend the night here. I guess that wouldn't be so bad. We could set up a pillow fort on the mezzanine. A pillow fort? We do work in a hotel, you know. There are actual beds here. Oh, I wouldn't be sleeping. I've got a reading list the size of the Eiffel Tower. This would be the perfect chance to put a dent in it. That does sound like fun. I could bring my magazines and, ooh, maybe light some of Rebecca's candles. Now I kind of hope we do get stuck here. <laughs> Montreal Police Service, Station 22. There's a... There's a man dead. He's been murdered. I... I need the police. Please stay calm, ma'am. Where are you right now? At the lobby. The body, it's, it's upstairs. Can you give me the address, please? Oh, um, 11, 1178 Drummond Street. All right, ma'am. Officers are on their way. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, Sophie. Now, I just have to wait for the police. Wait it out. Who done it, so who done it? And where's Andrew? Hey, it's like I you're spoke here. him into existence. I've tried restoring the power, but I think Eugene's the only one with the key to the fuse box, and I Sophie? Don't worry. I'll find a way to bring the lights back on. Hey, you look a bit Hale. Is everything okay? I found Mr. Cruz. Hector. He's back? Uh, how's he taking that whole thing with his wife? You don't understand. I found his body. He's... He's dead, Andrew. He's dead! Jesus. Uh, maybe you need, you need to sit down, huh? Did you call the police? Obviously. Yeah, they're they're on their way. I'm not what happened? Stupid Andrew. Was he sick or something? No, I don't think so. Someone did this to him. You mean? Jesus. Do you think it could be Paul? 
Um, respectfully, I think it was the women. What about Anne and Marcella? Their affair is a pretty good motive. Hmm. The police will want to ask you a lot of questions. You may want to be careful about what you tell them. With Paul's history of mental illness, there's a good chance they'll suspect him even if he didn't do it. True. True. I think I know what you mean. Some people seem to assume that spending time in a psychiatric hospital means you're a murderous psychopath. Yeah, they really do. But wait, how do you know about Paul's mental illness? I don't remember mentioning it to you. Oh. Oh. Um. Good catch, Sophie. Because I didn't even know I that. Really should have told you before. It's just when I was 19, I studied to be a priest. A priest. But okay. I felt so lost. I couldn't enjoy the things I used to like. I could barely get myself out of bed. So I ended up going to a psychiatric hospital. The same one as Paul, I suppose. Mm hmm. The doctors, they helped me get back on my feet. But when I returned to my hometown, it was like I had become a complete stranger. Oh. My mother kept telling me I was making it worse in my head, but I swear, people were changing sidewalks when they saw me, looking at me as if, as if I was this dangerous creature all of a sudden. I mean, That's you are. why buddy. I didn't tell you. I was af I was afraid you'd look at me like they did. Oh. I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. I understand. You do? Does she have a mental illness? You know how I tell everyone that my mom Does she? Sick. Bedridden. Well, it's true. But I always leave out the part about her illness not being physical. I'm ashamed of the truth. So even though I don't know exactly what you went through, I I can understand. Thank you for telling me. I know it's not an easy thing to talk about, but if you ever want to talk about your mom, I'm here. Oh. Hmm. They're here. I think they arrived a while ago, but yes, they are Promise here. Promise me you'll be careful with the information you share. Hmm? I'll try. Yeah, of course. Oh my, oh my god, it's such a loud siren. I'll try, Andrew, I'll really try. I will answer answer as truthfully as I want to. <laughs> Alrighty. Miss Roy? Let's see how I do. Miss Roy. Yo. Hello. I'll go empty my locker. Andrew. Uh, hey. Are you what? okay? Have you been um, fired? I've I've just been fired. Why? What? No. I... What? It's okay. I just need some time to process it. I'll be on the mezzanine if you want to join me afterwards. Oh. Yeah. yeah, okay. So I basically completely messed up this whole game. <laughs> Why'd you fire Andrew? Ah, Miss Roy. Come in. He finally gets my name right. I suppose you know why you're here? Uh, is it about the murder? I would guess it has something to do with the murder. Well, you'd be right about that. We've been getting a lot of press lately, and not the good kind. I wouldn't expect you to understand the position I'm in, but I assure you, it's quite uncomfortable to have one's life's work blown away like that. All thanks to some sexual deviance and a nut job. <laughs> It's obvious to me now that I haven't been firm enough. For guests of such morals to be comfortable booking a few nights here and, and, and committing such a horrid act? <sighs> now, things need to change. This means elevating our standards to the highest possible level, and it starts with the people working here. It starts with you. With me? Yes. From what I've heard, you've been quite the exemplary maid lately. Clean rooms, 
satisfied guests? I take my job very seriously, sir. As you should. We'll see for the future, but for now, you'll be allowed to continue working here. Yay! Thank you. I'm not done. Oh. The police have finished okay. their investigation and left a mess on the fifth floor. I want you to clean it up. You want me to go back okay. there? Yes. Why not? I found a dead body on that floor. I'm... I'm not going back. I'll make this simple for you. If you don't do it, you're fired. Uh... Uh... Okay. Fine. I... I guess. Okay. Good I'll lord. Take care of it. Good. I don't like this ending. Well, what are you waiting for? Get to work. I thought you were going to give me oh, the employee now? of the month thing. Yes, now. That'll be all. Oh, Lord. Okay. Oh, boy. I don't like this ending at all. Hey. Hey. What a week. You don't say. So what did Bernard want with you? He wants me to clean the mess on the fifth floor. He does? After everything you've been through up there? Oh, I can't believe it. Yeah. I wish I would have stood up to him, but I really need this job. It's okay. It's true. I it's know true. You do. That's the only reason I said yes. Did Bernard say why he was firing you? Well, I told him about my time at the psychiatric hospital. Really? Why would you tell him that? Yeah. He said that that didn't fit with the hotel standards and showed me the door. I know you'll bounce back. Well, I'm not one bit worried about you. I know you'll be just fine. Yeah. Hopefully I will be. Think of all the good times you'll have away from Bernard. <laughs> it's funny you should say that, because I was actually thinking I'd like being my own boss. I've had this dream for a while of... Maybe opening a bookstore. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised. It just makes so much sense. I'd be able to combine the two things I love most. Reading books and helping people. Uh, Granted, that's cute. helping people find books is a far cry from helping them find God. But My mom likes to say there's no job too small. Plus, just by the way you're talking about it, it's obvious that it'd make you happy. And that's what really matters, I think. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. I'm really glad I have you in my life. Me too. Oh. Uh, yes. Um. Kiss me? Yes. <laughs> Please do. Cute. Though I think that's the exact same thing that happened with yeah, Beth. It was. <laughs> um. I've been thinking about Paul a lot. That is not what oh, I said. Really? Should I be jealous? No, not in that way. I've been thinking about what he went through. And you as well. How you've been ashamed of something you have no control over. How I've been ashamed of my own mother. I don't want to be ashamed of her anymore. And I don't want to be ashamed of you. Hmm. Well, then let's be shameless together. <laughs> uh -huh. Look, it may be hard at first, but I have a feeling a wind of change is about to blow. One day, struggling with your own mind won't be any more shameful than having chicken pox. I really hope that's true. It will be. Aw, man. I'm not as happy with this ending as I was with Beth's. Which sucks because I don't I don't know what I did wrong. I'm just going about this game as a passive person, I guess. But there you have it. I'm pretty sure this is what I got last time. All three of them charged in the murder case. Oh, Paul. Sorry, buddy. 
But there you have it. There's the end of uh, this bed we made. Part two, I guess. Andrew's route. I'm sure there are like so, so, so many different things that could have happened. You know, I'm sure there's a good ending for Marcella and Anne and Michael and Paul and all that, you know. But I was truly just a bystander in their stories, honest to God. So, yeah, I'm not as satisfied with that as I was with Beth's. Like, I'm happy that Sophie and Andrew got together, obviously, but uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyways, once again, that was this bed we made. Andrew's route. Hope you all enjoyed. If you want to watch Beth's route or Beth's part, go check out the playlist on my channel. If not, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to like, subscribe, and ding that cute little notification bell. Unless you already have, then don't you dare touch it. And I will see you all in the next video.